I don't have the motivation to get started. I'm not motivated right now. All things people say who end up failing over and over and over again. And let's talk about how we avoid that, how we fix that, and how we can ultimately stay on track without relying on motivation. Let's dive into today's topic. But first, my name is Coach Tyler. I've been an online coach and personal trainer for the last six years. I've worked with over 455 people and I've helped hundreds and hundreds of people transform the way they look, feel, and perform in their everyday life. And I'm so excited to share with you today's talk on motivation and what is more important. By the way, if you have a second, please subscribe because I post weekly content just like this that I have a good feeling you'll find a ton of value in. So let's dive in. This is gonna be a great one. So what is motivation? Motivation is an emotion, an emotion that comes and goes, just like sadness, just like happiness, just like excitement. Relying on motivation is a failing strategy why? Because it's not a forever emotion. It is not something that is consistently going to be pushing you forward. It is something that people rely on to get started or to push even harder during times of motivation, but it is not something you should rely on to see the results you truly desire. It is not lasting. It is not going to give you lasting results, which I'm sure if you're watching this video, you probably want to see results and you probably want to keep them not just lose 20 pounds and gain it back, right? You wanna be able to keep that weight off forever or build that muscle and keep it forever. You don't want something to just come and then end up going away. So let's talk about what really matters, your discipline. Discipline, on the other hand, is a skill. It's the building of habits and behaviors slowly over time so that when motivation runs out, you have something to actually rely on. Because without motivation, you can still have discipline. You know that day where you really don't want to go to the gym, but you show up and do it anyways? That's discipline. You know waking up in the morning and brushing your teeth every day? That's discipline. Discipline is the action of staying consistent despite how you feel, despite what's going on in your life, because you want it, because you know you're going to feel better after doing it. That's what drives my discipline. What drives my discipline is knowing that, sure, I feel like shit. I don't want to go to the gym right now, but I also know how I'm going to feel after I work out. I know I'm going to feel re-energized after I work out. I know I'm going to be much happier with how I feel. I know I can enjoy more food after I work out. I know I can enjoy other aspects of my life with confidence because I'm happy with how I feel when I look in the mirror. That's why I'm disciplined. Not because I'm motivated and, and all gung-ho about going into the gym. No, I would say more days than not. I'm just focused on my discipline, not motivation. Discipline is a habit. Discipline is a skill. Discipline is something that you build over time. And the only way to build discipline is doing the shit you don't want to do over and over and over again. No matter how long your fitness journey has been, whether you're just starting or you've been on one for quite some time, the thing that you should be focused on building is not motivation. It's your discipline. It's the skills, the habits, the behaviors that lead you to being disciplined. And let me tell you, when you are disciplined, the best part is when that motivation does come in. When you are feeling motivated to crush a new PR, to hit a new goal, to reach a new weight, when that motivation comes, you're gonna be able to push yourself that much harder. You're gonna be able to go that much further on your journey. And you know what's great? When that motivation goes away, you keep going because you now have discipline. When I have this conversation with clients, this is usually why I bring up the best time to get started on your fitness journey. The best time to get started on your fitness journey is not when you're motivated. It's not when life is perfect and great and you have all the time in the world. The best time to get started is when you're busy, stressed out of your mind, and have a ton of things going on in your life. Why? Why would it be so smart for you to start your journey when life is all out of whack? The simple fact is that life has its ebbs and flows. It's like the ocean waves. It comes and goes, it's up and down and all over the place. And that is inevitable. 
And because of that, when life gets easy, staying on track is going to be extremely easy. And you know what's even better? When life gets hard again and challenging again, you're going to be able to stay on track. You're going to be able to continue moving forward on your journey because you've already done it before. So stop waiting for life to get easy to start your journey. Do it now. Stop making excuses to why you can't start because it's actually the best time to start. Don't let life being hard, challenging, difficult stop you from achieving the things you want in life. If you truly want to lose the weight, you can, you will, if you learn how to build the skill of discipline. Now it's all easier said than done. So if you truly want to build your discipline, here's what I would do. I would start with skills that are so stupid, simple, and easy to do that I have no excuse not to do them. For some people, that's eating one cup of vegetables a day. For some people, that's going on a five minute walk after lunch and dinner. For some people, that's focusing on sleeping more than five, six, seven hours every night. For some people, it's that simple. Pick one thing that you know you can improve on, whether it's getting more movement in your day, doing one workout a week, doing something so simple, you have no excuse not to do it. Once you're able to do that for three, four, five weeks, then do a second thing. Add a second workout, get an extra hour of sleep, go on a 10, 20 minute walk instead of a five minute, do something slightly more than what you're doing now. And over time, these skills begin to compound and build on each other to the point where eventually you can get your eight hours of sleep, get all three workouts in every week, move your body on a daily basis, getting eight to 10,000 steps, hit your protein goal of 180 grams on a daily basis. It becomes intuitive, it becomes easy. And so when life gets easy, it's a breeze. You can stay on track like no one's business. And then when life gets hard, you have the discipline, you have the skills, you know what it takes to stay on track even when things get challenging. That is the true value of understanding and having the skill of discipline in your life. So if you truly want to get to where you want to be, if you truly want results that last and that are sustainable, the only way to do that is with discipline. So get rid of these thoughts and motivation, stop relying on it in your life, and I can guarantee you it's going to be a whole lot more enjoyable on your health and fitness journey. Now, if you found value in this video, I would greatly appreciate it if you subscribed and drop the like. If you have any questions or comments, please drop them below. I answer back to everyone that I get. And thank you again for watching this. I greatly appreciate you. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.